Beating a and is like taking a dump. You feel good, but it's nothing really to brag about. Texas Longhorns, 49-9 over Texas A&M after two years of being embarrassed by them at home and away. This Today, Texas took care of business. Everyone knew what was going to happen coming in, and that's what happened. Um, slow start in the first half. Uh, we got a touchdown. We weren't really scoring really fast, but that's kind of how the Texas offense works. We work the ball down the field, no matter if we're playing a good team or a bad team. You look at the OU game this year. OU, their offense likes to score quick, and you saw that during that game. At the same time, Texas likes to move the ball down the field, 5, 10, 15-yard increments. That's what we did today. We had our big plays as well. Um, great atmosphere tonight. You know, it, it, it rivaled the Missouri game. Uh, and it was great to see, guys, see everybody show up to the game, support the guys, and especially the seniors who have played excellent for us. Like I said earlier, one of the most winningest uh, senior class we've ever had here at UT. Uh, and it's, it's, been, it's been a pleasure as a fan and as a stu- uh, fellow student uh, to get to watch these guys play uh, in person. Um, really, you know, if you watch the game, you saw what happened. Texas did what we had to do. We, we blew them out. Uh, we could have made more, uh, but in the fourth quarter, if you watched it, we put in John Childs. And we did get a touchdown out of it, but we were running the football the whole time. And, and as Texas fans, we know when you put John Childs in, that means Mac Brown is um, saying the game is over. And me and a lot of other fans at the time were kind of upset. We wanted to see Colton there. We wanted just to blast A&M even more. We wanted to score, 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 score. But a- after looking at it, it's, I think Mac made the right mode, move, as he, as he usually does. And congratulations to Mac Brown, 200th win as a coach. I, it's awesome that I got to be there for that milestone. He's one of the best coaches in college football, and I, I'm more than happy to have him at UT. Um, but and I, I now I think I do agree with him because he showed the kind of class, the class act that he is. No matter what, he, everyone has been telling him, not just the media, but fans have been telling him, you know, blow him out, blow him out. If you're up by 60, go for 70. But he stuck with his guns. He coached this game like he coached any other game to win the game. We won by 40. If winning by 40 doesn't get it done, winning by 50, 60, or 70 isn't going to do the trick either. Max a smart guy. He knows that. And there's no need to rub the Aggies face in it. Aggies know they're not any good. Aggie fans know they're not any good. We took care of business. Um, so really, and what was great, if you watched it, um, it was really just pretty much a pep rally. The whole thing was really just a pep rally uh, to get the voters to vote our way. And, and, you know, I, I'm really, you know, as I've said before, I, I was really bogged down the whole voter thing, the scenarios in the BCS. You know what, guys? I'm not even going to get into it. You know, you guys decide how you want to want to cheer this week because there's, so there's so many different ways for Texas to get into the Big 12 Championship or the National Championship. Uh, I don't know what the best way is, and I'm not going to sit here and tell you guys what I think because I haven't really made my mind up yet. Uh, I may do that Saturday. I won't make a video about it. But um, what I will say is um, for the voters, if you're watching – uh, if you don't remember back in October, uh, something went down. Um, you know what I'm talking about? This right here? Um, oh, well, I guess hopefully the scoreboard matters, but uh, we'll see what happens. I will say this. Um, the way people have talked about this, they say if Oklahoma gets in, even the analysts who say that Oklahoma, they think Oklahoma should get in, they view it as Texas getting screwed. But I see where people say if Texas gets in, they don't see Oklahoma getting screwed because Oklahoma lost head-to-head. I'm just putting that out there. I don't know. Uh, and also for the Aggie fans, I, I, it was kind of – I know it was kind of – maybe it proved to the ones who were there and also the ones watching that we really – this rivalry is more on your side than us. We hate, we hate you guys. We love to beat the Aggies. I love beating the Aggies. I'm from an Aggie town. love to whip them. But I can't really like – I can't really get into their face like, ha-ha, we won, hook them horns – because they know it. They know we're supposed to win. We don't get to do that. The, the Aggies get to do that to us. But if you saw it this game, the whole time, we weren't, we weren't even worried about the Aggies that much. It was mostly the fans were shouting 45-35, OU sucks, um, shouting BCS. And that's what we're worried about here at A&M, at Texas, not at A&M. Uh, at A&M, they're worried about being Texas. Texas, we're worried about being the best. We proved it tonight, 49-9, took care of business. Cole McCoy played excellent. Uh, Cody Johnson, got to give him one of the game balls tonight because, and the defense, of course, Rackpo and Sergio just destroyed McGee. And uh, another thing about Stephen McGee, okay, you can talk about heart and everything, but use your head a little bit. When you get destroyed by Sergio Kendall and you're down 21-3 to at the time and you walk towards the Texas Longhorns sidelines talking smack, you have nothing to talk smack about. You beat us last year, 
but you just got your tails kicked. Just go home. Don't worry about it. It's our party, not yours. <sighs> but also for the Aggie fans, they had to. It was they had those confused looks on their face when we would say, "Oh, you sucks," and they're looking around like, "But you're playing us." But I thought we matter. They don't. Big Twelve basement. All right, guys. Hook 'em horns. Texas five. If we end up in the Fiesta Bowl. We end up in the Fiesta Bowl. And I'll probably be mad by then, but right now we're good. Oh, and the Cowboys won. Whip that butt by uh, Seattle. I got to watch the first half a little bit, but I had to head down to the game. Uh, Tony Romo, they couldn't touch him. Offensive line gets the game ball for me, and the defense as well. Uh, both teams, Dallas and Texas, took care of business, whipping up on bad teams and moving on. Hook'em horns, Texas fight, and we'll see what happens in the stupid BCS.